I want to, I want to gift you with some presents. Not, not gifts that you need to unwrap, but real life, in the moment, here with you now, on this Zoom call, authentic presence. Because this is what is at the core of sister and brotherhood for me. When we are authentically present with each other, whether in person or sitting on the Zoom call, we conjure the spark of life between us and allow it to emerge fresh. True brothers and sisters are consciously aware of this gift that we have to give to each other. And not just for our own sake, but because we want to allow this, this sacred space between us, the sacred space of mutual authentic presence to cultivate the sister and brotherhood. Sister and brotherhood is also an accumulation. It's an accumulation of of moments, of experiences, encounters, dances, challenges overcome, and victories won. In my experience, the element that galvanizes sisterhood or brotherhood the most is when mutual presence is poignantly applied to tackle an audacious goal. It's the sisterhood between teammates of a championship team, the brotherhood between Bob Hurley and Bob Benkin, the astronauts who are loading up onto the space station right now, and the camaraderie, the, the challenge and the victory and the vision that they, they've accomplished, all of NASA and SpaceX to put these folks up there, to launch them from American soil. Brotherhood and sisterhood is the bond between people carrying out the vision of spiritual regeneration and succeeding. Embarking upon the ambitious endeavor to build and sustain communities that are spiritually healthy and in harmony with the ecology, now that is an audacious goal. This is sisterhood and brotherhood to me. It's the bond between us not only the gift that we give each other of authentic presence, but, but with, with, with people who do it over time and through the intense and powerful moments in our lives. Look at the faces of the brothers and sisters on this call and savor the victory of authentic mutual presence. Or as Tom Glazer might say, the union that shall unite us all forever proud and free.